Every human being on planet Earth, no matter who they are, has demons to fight. Nobody's perfect. Nobody has a clean record. Everybody has issues and challenges, many of which they keep secret that they don't want other people to know about. 2,000 years ago, uh, before the internet existed, uh, when people didn't like you or you were unfavorable in society, they would throw stones at you. And that could kill you. That could really damage and a lot of times kill somebody just by throwing stones at them. And the reason people threw stones at those people is because they judged them. They had assumptions. They assumed that, that person was worthy of receiving being stoned. But they didn't know that person's story. They didn't know why that person did what they did, or if they, even if they did at all. And everybody has reasons why they do what they do. They have these demons to fight. There is no one situation that's the same for everybody. And now we have the internet and people like to just simply attack people from the blind, from the anonymity of their keyboard. And uh, it's just, you don't understand. You're actually throwing stones at people. And a lot of people end up killing themselves because of the, well, how, it makes them, how that makes them feel. Now, I get comments sometimes. Um, it's interesting. Most of these are women who are very defensive about, it's interesting because guys don't really care. They're like, you know, they just, and then it's over. And it's like, but women, they just carry it inside. They just, they have these, these scars and these pains and that they've been carrying their whole life. I know it's a man's world. Living, being a woman in a man's world is really difficult. And it makes them very, under the surface, there's this brewing anger and frustration. And then sometimes they take it out on me in the comments. Almost weekly, there's a woman that says, I eat right, I work out, I exercise, I do this, I, I, I've, I was plant-based, it's not working. So I'm just gonna take these drugs and I'm gonna be, uh, and it made me feel better. I keep saying this over and over and over. I, I, I say, the answer isn't taking something. It's stop doing what's bad for you. Now, it's funny these people that claim they don't do anything bad. Every single person I've visited, I've given a lot of people a surprise visit. I just showed up one day unexpected and I said, let me look in your cupboards and fridge. And uh, and now it's invading, invading private space, but I did, I did it anyway. And I said, let me see what's in your fridge and your cupboards and your drawers and your medicine cabinet and all your secret places. And everybody, everybody had <laughs> secret things they were hiding that they and it might not be something in the fridge it might not be something in the cupboard or medicine cabinet it might be in your soul in your heart there's scars that are being dealt with that you might have gotten when you were in childhood or in school and people pick up bad habits and i'm not just talking about diet here like it, it's not just you know, and by the way, most people, what they call vegan is not healthy. We've already established this. You know, everybody has uh, carb addictions of some kind or sugar addictions or bread or whatever it is. We've already, we've already talked about that. And alcohol, that's obvious. You know, smoking, we know that. You know, th there are things that people do that they don't tell people that it's just secret. Or It's funny, a lot of people in the raw food world, you know, they smoke a lot of marijuana or they do, oh, it's natural, man. Like, you know, it's funny, they, everybody does something and they all claim it's okay because they can handle it because they have a good diet or whatever. Everybody is so in denial of certain things because they want to keep doing that because it just makes them feel good because it helps them deal with the issues in their life. Nobody wants to wake up in the morning and just take on their fears and, and go, I'm going to take on my fears today and I'm just going to get rid of all of it. I mean, I mean, there might be one or two people, but that's almost like a death wish. Most people, they try to put things, there's always something you're putting off under the surface that you want to put off indefinitely and you just hope it's going to go away. And how do you deal with that stuff? By doing something you know you're not supposed to. And this ties in a lot with people judging. I looked horrible like 15 years ago. I was really, really, I, I looked all gaunt and shriveled up. I looked like I was dying and I was doing raw food. Now people might say, ah, see, see, the raw food wasn't working. That's not working. Go carnivore or whatever, you know. 
They didn't realize what I was going through. I was going through a breakup in a relationship. I was very stressed. I was very stressed financially. That's when the 08 thing happened and everybody was losing everything. Um, there was a lot going on in my life that I didn't talk about because it's none of your business. You know, I was going through a private war, a private battle, and it was painful. And it had nothing to do with my diet. A lot of things are people's private battles. And it's none of your business to ask what they are. Just trust. Everybody, on, including you, everybody on this planet has secret things that they're battling that they don't want people to know about, no matter how good your diet is. And I, again, I guarantee you, your diet's not perfect either. But it's a lot more than diet. Usually, getting healthier means stopping something that you know is not good for you. And it takes time, and it's really hard, and, and it's like hell. It's like going through hell. Uh, anybody, I mean, I knew somebody, I had a girlfriend years ago who was hooked on speed and, and alcohol and cigarettes. And she was a, I mean, talk about the movie Exorcist. That's what it's like when they come off of that stuff. <laughs> it is, it, but you, you stick with it. You love them. You, you, you stick through it with them because you, you see what they really now i know that this is also a touchy thing because women do this with a lot of men and vice versa they see the potential in that person and they 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 think i can change that person no you can't they have to change on their own they have to want to change on their own and uh you can't force them they have to realize make their own realization so if that is killing you trying to help somebody it might never happen and you might end up killing yourself trying to help that other person because they'll bring you down too. People have to heal on their own. So this is such an important issue. Uh, anyway, so I looked horrible like 13, 14, 15 years ago, and then I started looking better because I got over those issues. Kara looked different when I met her because she was going through a lot of bad stuff when I met her. She was, and I, I oh, I... I but I just felt, I just knew she was right for, for me and I stuck it through. And she looks different now than she did back then. So what do people do? Plastic surgery, right? It's the first thing they say, plastic surgery. It's amazing how fast people judge. Oh, she had breast implants. So obviously she's done the rest of herself too. I made a video about that subject, how quick people judge about plastic. It likes the, what people just do nowadays, right? You look better, so you must have plastic. It couldn't have been the fact that you, you fought your demons, you overcame some bad habits, you, you started uh, going out in the sun, working out, going to sleep earlier, <clears throat> doing all the things that you didn't really put much value on. It's amazing how simple things in life like not eating four hours before you to go to bed, going to bed by 10, 9 or 10, uh, getting enough sleep, exercising, uh, resistance training, weight training, how most middle-aged women don't do that. And I'm saying middle-aged women because women have a different uh, kind of approach and mentality to life than men do. They dress up, they put makeup on, they, do, they, they want the world to see them as... Uh, these perfect little china dolls whereas men are like eh, whatever they're like you know they they're, they're they let the, the ugly stuff hang out they don't care they just do whatever they smell they fart they don't have any personal hygiene you know i'm generalizing here <laughs> but uh women like to keep their little uh imperfections to themselves and that it, that's like a cancer it eats them up from inside because they don't they don't want to carry that that pain inside, but they do. And then every once in a while, they lash out at somebody who who uh, tries to you know knock on that door. Um, but if you want to improve yourself, then you have to knock on that door. You have to address those issues. And that's why sometimes people are very angry at me and their their comments, the, claiming that they're perfect and I'm wrong and they don't have any bad habits. Like, yeah, you do. Come on, everybody does. And, I, and sometimes you have to dig pretty deep to find them because they're buried quite well because people don't want you to know about them. But and like I said, it's not necessarily diet all the time. It could be a personal pain. You know, uh, people carry a lot of internal personal pain <clears throat> in their life. People try to help you with that, especially your loved one who tries, you know, that you, your, your partner, your mate, whatever, they try to help as best they can. But ultimately, it's your job to fight your own demons. Nobody can fight your demons for you. When they try, if they were to try, 
they just get sucked into the same, into a, a world of pain also, but it doesn't fix the problem. And sometimes it makes it worse. You got to fix it on your own. That's our job. That's, that's one of the reasons we're here is to fight those demons. And that's why people sometimes pick up these bad habits is because they, they, they need something to help cope. You know, there's a pain, there, there's an uncomfortableness. There, there's a, sometimes it's depression and loneliness, you know, the loss of a loved one. Somebody dies in your life or, or, or you feel alone or you got picked on when you were a kid and, and now you feel your self-worth is very low and, and you don't think much of yourself and you, you like to just hide and be this meek person. And, uh, you know, that's pain. Everybody has some issues they have to fight, so they cope with it with a substance of some kind or something that gives them instant gratification, you know, but it's, that just makes it worse. It just somehow it, that eats you up inside in a different way. So the only way to have something not eat you up inside is to get rid of it, to stop holding on to it. And that's not always easy. And all these people who claim to be these perfect gurus on the internet, who, 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 I know a lot of them, and they have issues. They have substance issues. They have personality issues. Trust me, nobody on planet Earth is perfect. You know, I've never touched a drop of alcohol in my life. I've never smoked. I've never, I don't even do coffee. Never have. I hate coffee. All the bad substances that people do got hooked on. I never got into that. I remember... <laughs> I remember when I was in art school and when I was 18, I never smoked, but I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be cool. So this is so funny. Art students, they're all smoking weed. So I took some toilet paper and rolled it up in like, like a joint and pretended I was smoking it. When the school was having parties or dances or something, I'd stand on the corner like the cool guy. Yeah. But everybody knew I wasn't smoking. They, it was like a joke. It was like an inside joke. Um, and they, they knew it was toilet paper. Oh, it's funny. Um, but, in, but seriously, my weakness was always sugar and carbs. And I remember, oh, geez, I, I always wanted to do the right thing. You know, I, I, I ran like I was like a $6 million man. I would run like a 60 miles an hour and I was healthy and I I'd try to eat right. I never drank, I never smoked, never did any of that stuff. But I would go to... Um, we had, they had a Burger King on the corner, and I would go. I wouldn't eat the meat, wouldn't eat the hamburgers, but I ate the cherry pies and the milkshakes. I swear, if, if we have past lives, I think I was a woman because I, 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 the carbs and the dairy were in the bread. That was the hardest thing for me. I never wanted the meat and the alcohol like men do. You know, I'm not into like, Rrr. by the time I was... In my mid twenties, I started bleeding when I went to the bathroom, and and uh, it was it was bad, and I was very stressed out too. I was a young kid in my twenties; I didn't know where I was going in life, and I I was having relationship issues. It wasn't her fault. I just was immature. I didn't know how to deal with stuff, and I and you know I feel sorry for people in their twenties having all these arguments and lashing out. It's just. They're frustrated. They don't know how to deal with life. They haven't grown up yet. And I was so immature back then. I feel horrible for the things that people had to deal with in my life. I, I, you know, if we could just go back and change things. But yeah, we've grown. We've matured since then. Um, so yeah, I, anyway, I, it took a long time for me to get the sugar and bread and dairy thing under control. And then it became stress with money and finances and uh, relationship issues. And you just, everybody's got their things they have to deal with. Kara had her things, I had mine. Um, I'm proud of her for overcoming a lot of those things. But there is no real time in life where you are perfect. There's always a something. The minute you overcome this challenge, you get a new one. It's just, that's the way life is. Like when you finish second grade in school, now you're in third grade. You finish third grade, now you're in fourth grade. And each time the challenges get bigger and bigger. And it got, even Elon Musk, you know, has these issues. Stop asking what they are. Just know that everybody has issues. And it's the reason they look better or worse is not just because of the diet that they're on. And that's so easy to judge people on 
what you see on the surface. Oh, they just, they're just eating, you know, it's because they're vegan or because they did plastic surgery or, you know, it's how quick they, that's throwing stones. That's hurting people. That's, that's judging them as if they only, this is how much they are. They are so big in life with so many issues and so many things they're dealing with. You only see this much of it. And that's what people judge people on. And that is so wrong and unfair, but that's part of life. So if you start seeing somebody starting to look worse or better, don't judge. Don't assume you know why. They might be going through a very stressful period in their life. There might have been something eating them up for the last 30 years that they haven't dealt with and they get cancer because of it. It doesn't mean it's because they're vegan or carnivore or whatever that. It, it, there's so much more to the equation than just that. And if they look better, it's not necessarily because they got plastic surgery. You know, it's amazing how different somebody looks when they just cut wheat out of their, or sugar out of their diet. Or if they stop, you know, uh, alcohol. I mean, alcohol makes you bloat up and, and sh smoking anything makes you shrivel up. It's, it's amazing how people like to just assume and judge. You remember back when, when olive oil and coconut oil was being attacked? You have oils in your diet <laughs> or cashews aren't raw. You know, and I made a video about that. I said, look, we're, we're not extremists. We're not 100% raw. We go out to restaurants and we eat some stuff once in a while. Like nobody's 100% at anything. Those who claim they are, are lying. And those who are trying to be 100%, they're fanatical to a degree that's ridiculous. I mean, they have other issues too. Nobody, nobody is perfect. And there's no need to be. But at the same time, that's not an excuse for saying, oh, okay, well, then I'm just going to have my, my cookies and my cigarettes and my alcohol and my, you know, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not, that's not a free ticket to go do whatever you want. I'm just saying that everybody has their moments and that's okay. Just get on with life and learn to what, just acknowledge that it's not good for you and try to not do it again or do it, you know, once a month or once a year or never if you can. Anyway, just know that everybody has their demons to fight. That's part of being on planet Earth. And realize the best way to get healthier is not to take something to hide a problem to mask a problem. It's to have a good, honest look at your life. Why are you having your pain, your inflammation, your hot flashes, your cold sweats, your heart problems, your cancer, your whatever it is, there is always something that you kind of know what it is. You, you probably already know, you just don't want to deal with it. And you're in denial of it and you, you just, you, you want to convince yourself you have the perfect diet, you have the perfect lifestyle. Okay, just because you exercise doesn't mean you're healthy, okay? It's just because you're, you, you're vegan or plant-based doesn't mean you're healthy. Uh, there are so many fine things. Just the act of not going to sleep early enough or eating before you go to bed messes up your hormones because... You have to be fully asleep for that, for your hormones to heal and you can't eat because then your body's working all night. Simple things like that. Not getting enough sunlight, not exercising. How many of you are doing weight training or exercising? And I don't mean going for a 20 minute walk. I mean really using your muscles uh, because if you don't use it, you lose it. It's not a guy thing. It's, it's, a, it's a male and female thing. You have to move your body. You have to move, move, move. And most people nowadays are moving less and less and less. What triggers you? What gets you upset? There's a reason for that. You need to address that. Why are you doing these substances that you shouldn't be doing? Why are, do you have to reach, the minute you get uh, tense or depressed or, or bored, you reach for some, this thing that you know isn't good for you? I can't answer that. Only you can. So the answer isn't, you have these addictions, you take something, it makes you not well, so then you take something else to hide the symptoms you get from that addiction. It's, it's a vicious cycle. Just stop, get rid of everything. Just start over from zero. Try to be as clean as possible and get rid of the bad things in your life. Don't try to hide it with something else. Don't go to a doctor and say, give me a prescription 
uh, hormone treatment so I, I can hide these symptoms because I'm not doing this other stuff that I should be doing. You know, there's always a reason. You just got to figure out what it is. Every person I've ever visited who said they were perfect, they weren't. If you're that good at hiding something, nobody's going to know what it is other than you. So the only one who can deal with it is you, right? If other people don't know about it, how can they help you? Only you know 100% of what you're doing. And even then, you probably don't know everything you're doing because you're trying to shut someone out of your mind. Anyway, I just wanted to say this. This is so important. This is probably one of the best healing things you can do is to be serious with yourself and, uh, and just take it on. Just take on those demons and the best you can. And remember, it's getting rid of things that heals you more than buying stuff and taking things. It's what you get rid of. It's what you clean yourself of. It's not easy, I know, I know, but do the best you can. Every little bit helps, and that's what helps you crawl out of the hole. That's what makes you look better, and then people will tell you, oh, you must have had plastic surgery, you look better. <laughs> oh boy, okay, well anyway, good luck. Everybody has their battles and wars to fight, and because of that, we should all say we're in this together and not throw stones at each other. Like the writings say, he who is without sin should cast the first stone. And I guarantee you, everybody's sinning in some way. But that's okay, because that's part of life on planet Earth. So stop throwing stones and start healing yourself. I want to see you happy, because if you're happier, the world's more at peace. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.